Hey folks, just thought I'd share something with you. It's like, who does this? Right now, we're on my land. Everywhere you look, my land. My property line is just right over there. I have 35 acres here. And I harvest my blow down trees and I have trees that can fall down and so on. And, and I, I, I cut them up and I use them. One of the trees is a very, very big cherry. Probably 26 inches across at the trunk. I came back here yesterday. I've been coming back, taking it, there it is over there. I came back here yesterday and noticed a sign on it, so I kind of tore the sign off it. But somebody has come in here and decided, like you can see that tree there, I can get three nine foot logs out of that. And I cut them all into slabs. I can probably make between four and six thousand dollars from this tree. And then use the top from here up for firewood. But I shows up here yesterday and somebody has come along and decided that I'm not allowed to remove my own tree, I guess. Maybe, I, I'm thinking they must think it's crown land. Anyway, so that's, here's the sign. This tree not remove, it's self inoculated with mushroom mycelium and spores. Here's the other sign that took off at the other end. And they had to staple to here. Who does this? This is my land, my tree. Like, what part of that do these people from the city don't understand? They come out here. And I've seen several of them up there walking up and down the road and everything. But it's a good uh, piece of land here. I don't stop people from coming on it. And I don't care if they walk their dogs or do whatever and so on and so forth. But stay off. You're not telling me what to do with my own land. Like you can see where I've been cleaning all the branches. I cleaned up there, that maple tree that was, it was up there. It was broke off. And I got it all cleaned up. I got the top off it. I got some of the tops off of some of these beets. There was another beets that broke off when the, when this thing blew down. And a bunch of tops over here and everything. But I got the way cleared here and all the ironwoods like these. And that's an ax, but that's a piece of birch there, yellow birch there. But, and that's a beet. But this cherry is still alive. So in mushrooms and spores and stuff for as far as i know now i might be wrong somebody might have to correct me they grow in oak not cherry so where they've inoculated i don't know they probably just stuck some mushroom spores and stuff in here and some old mushroom tops whatever i guess they must seem to think that this is their land or they can do what they want with it but i wish i'd run into them because they're in for a big surprise, but they think that I'm going to give up $6,000 in value for them to come onto my property and provide them with a mushroom garden. I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to keep looking for wild mushrooms and you might have to head to Crown Land. But this is mine. How to be I. I don't know how people think that they can just do that. So up here, we're almost at the back of the property here now. And uh, I'll get back out of here. There's a, we got a trailer back here. And they got a pond back here. And there's, there's a dozen little speckled trout in it. And uh, there's a trailer back there. And there's, you know, there's a case of water in there. And there's a barbecue there if you want to. If somebody wants to come back and camp and use the property, I, I, I don't mind. As long as all they need is footprints. That's all I want from them. So Mike, he's already back here. I told him I was going to make a video. But uh, I've noticed that there hasn't been any trees. You notice any fish in there at all?
Okay. No, I've been back here a couple times, and I noticed there wasn't any fish in there. And I was talking to Gord, he asked me the same thing. And I don't know. Like, them tree huggers, want, they want to take a, um, plant some mushrooms or whatever. There's three basswood logs laying right over there. And they're absolutely garbage for burning. They call them, sept or what do they call them? Um, September wood. It's for, or, or it's, it's, yeah, it, there's not, it's, it's too soft. It, it doesn't throw enough heat. But, uh, no, that's just, I, just amazes me the liberties that people seem to think they take, they need to take, so. I'm up here, doing about face. Uh, I might have a smoke, I can stop and have a smoke here, and have a doobie, and that's so, like, but if they look around, you know, if they wanted to, there's down trees, there's down limbs and stuff, and there's hardwood. There's an oak up over here, but, you know, they just, what? And you know, I'm glad you see here's the property line here. You see where that blue mark is? Property goes this way and it goes down over here, probably about 60 or 70 feet. We're right on the corner of the property here. But you see these things here, these are hemlocks. These are absolutely beautiful and the hardest darn friggin' cedar or softwood you'll ever get. But look at the size of that beach over there. You know how much good firewood's in that? Holy smokes. But the beach, it just goes like crazy around here. So. And then down here, the edge of the property, the property line is just over there. The edge of the property, I lost my buddy Mike. I've got a, I capped the spring here. So the water drips out of there, that is the most delicious spring water you'd ever want to drink. Oh my goodness, it's so good. But uh, yeah, I got a cap over top of that spring just to have a little water, drink water place and get water for somebody if they want to have a drink. So I don't mind people using the property, but if they're gonna if they're gonna be assholes about it, excuse my French, then I'm just gonna kick everybody out of here and put them gates and fences. I don't want to. I like everybody to enjoy the things that I enjoy. So. I had to put some little slabs on top of this roof, it's been leaking, it's, it's not in very good shape. But we got a fire pit here and some chairs and over there also I'm picking the table back here for people to use. There's a case of water and stuff in there, so there's a spring right over there. But yeah, like I say, who does that? So. Anyway, thank you. We'll, uh, as soon as we get out, hit the road here, we'll, uh, I guess that's my rant for today, is trespassers. Uh, I just wish I'd come up to them the same time that they showed up as I want to give them a piece of my mind but on the same token too maybe it probably be better off if I don't I don't I don't want to be Mr. Confrontational it's not really my way anymore I guess I was kind of a ruffian <laughs> a couple generations ago but I guess I'll go this way. This one, the guy in front of me, Mike, there. That, he, just, that, he just went across the property line there. This property here, this over here, this 100 acres here, belong to him. So, so there's this field here. There's deer that always come down the bottom end of that field over there. So on, and there's a Another little field here. And there's all kinds of big cedars in that bush there too. My goodness, some of them are probably two feet in diameter anyway, some of them. And you see there's a basswood tree, another basswood tree. They're no good for nothing. Then you got these nice ash here. I guess it'll burn up good, but them basswood trees, I just don't like them. You got elm and stuff. Like look at this beautiful maple. Oh man, look at that. And then that's beautiful maple. And that beautiful maple. And that beautiful maple. Oh, I just, I just love sugar maple. Look at that one. That one. See, this was more of a sun maple. It's been out more of the sun there. So you get back in there just a little bit. But this is mites. And uh, so that, these, all these trees are mites. The property line is actually on the other side of that little stone fence you see there. All these maple trees belong to Mike. So he's going to tap them up, he says. Look at that, there's a nice ash there, look at that, look at that 
two maples growing up, nice maple there. Nice big view from me. Oh, that is so beautiful. And look at all these stones. They pay me a fortune. You see all the moss and the lichens and stuff and all these stones. I can sell all these rocks and make an absolute fortune because the people in the city, they just love that shit. But you know what? I, I, I don't really need or want their money. I really don't. I, I, I don't need it. I'm just going to enjoy it. And then me my... Oh, look, ooh, look at the holes in that ash, though. That's not good. I guess I have knocked that one down. Yeah, woodpecker's been at it like crazy. Trying to get up the emerald ash bore, I'm sure. There's a big maple there, but yeah. Anyway. Oh, nice door. Right now. Anyway, I'm headed for home, so yeah. All you folks have a great day, and uh, we'll see you next time.